Imagine your life in the next 100 years. What will happen? What will you experience? What are the events that will occur? The curiosity of knowing the future is in our minds since centuries. So, what if we could predict the future a thousand years from now? Maybe a ten thousand years? A hundred thousand years? What consequences will we face? And most importantly, what will we miss? In the year 1986, American inventor and scientist Danny Hillis created a project known as Clock of the Long Nerve. The first prototype of this clock began working on December 31st, 1999, and this clock will probably keep its time until the year 10,000. When we reach the year 10,000, we face a problem called year 10K problem. Software that encodes the 80 year calendar as a four digit decimal will no longer be able to encode dates starting from 10,000 AD. Meanwhile, if globalization trend continues, human genetic variation will no longer be regionalized, meaning human genetic traits like skin color or hair color will be evenly distributed across the world. 20,000 years from now, future languages will contain only one out of 100 core vocabulary words essentially present day languages will no longer become recognizable meanwhile the chernobyl exclusion zone of ukraine will become safe for human life 50000 years from now earth will enter into another glacial period regardless of the current global warming effects meanwhile due to the lunar tides from the moon the rotation of the earth will slow down to the point that the days on the earth will become one second longer if the humans try to keep the current timing system they will add a leap second to the clock every single day or will officially lengthen the day by one second after a nice dinner if you have a habit of enjoying stars and pointing out constellations in specific stars you might miss this opportunity in 100000 years by this time the earth and our solar system would have traveled so far in our galaxy's orbit that the star patterns you see today will look vastly different maybe you are looking at the stars from the wrong planet by this time mars should be able to completely terraformed and your future generations will most probably start living there 500000 years from now earth will extremely likely have been hit by an asteroid greater than 1 km in diameter This would cause massive fires across the globe, rendering the air practically unbreathable. I think by this time, the entire population will live on Mars. One million years from now, it is extremely likely that the Earth is totally covered by dangerous volcanic gases because of a super volcanic eruption. The magma of this eruption will cover a large area of 3,200 cubic kilometers. The last volcanic eruption comparable to this event will be Toba super eruption. This event was so powerful that it sent the earth to global volcanic winter for another 10 years. Humans would start living on other planets, colonizing the entire Milky Way galaxy. But humans who live on Mars may face a huge threat because in 50 million years our red planet Mars will most likely collide with its smallest moon Forbes this collision may result mars in having rings much like saturn does today but these rings may not last forever the gravitational force between the saturn and its rings is quite powerful so in 100 million years it is quite possible that the rock and debris which form the saturn rings may be pulled in or rejected out from the system leaving mars without its iconic rings so in 240 million years from now from its current position our solar system will have completed one galactic orbit around our milky way galaxy center exactly one galactic orbit ago dinosaurs stepped on the earth on the supercontinent called pangea proxima speaking of supercontinents in 250 million years all of the landmass on earth will join together becoming a supercontinent called Pangea Ultima. Pangea Ultima will stay for 
500 million years. By this time, humanity may face another mass extinction event. When stars die, they explode the debris across the universe which is known as supernova. This supernova ejects extremely large beams of radiation known as gamma ray bursts or GRBs. Gamma ray bursts are the brightest events to occur in the entire universe. Our sun emits 3.282 into 10 to the power of 26 watts of energy every single second. A gamma ray burst emits more energy in few seconds than our sun emits in its entire 10 billion year lifetime. So, by the year 500 million, gamma ray bursts occur within 6500 light years of Earth which could destroy half of the Earth's ozone layer in a span of few seconds. Speaking of ozone layer, 800 million years from now, most of the plant life on Earth will become extinct because of lower carbon dioxide levels resulting in depletion of oxygen levels in the atmosphere. No oxygen, no multicellular life. The Earth will return to its original state of barren wasteland with no life. But there may be life on other planets. In 1977, NASA launched satellites Voyager 1 and 2 into the interstellar space outside of our solar system. Both satellites carried identical golden records. Each record is encased in a protective aluminum jacket together with a cartridge and needle for playing it. Instructions from symbolic fashion explain where the spacecraft came from the solar system as well as the instructions on how to play the record. The record contains 116 images from the earth along with greetings in 59 languages. Sounds of animals including the songs of birds, whales and dolphins which are selected to portray the diversity of life and culture on earth. These records are sent along with a message from President Carter. Quote, we cast this message into the cosmos of 200 billion stars in the Milky Way galaxy. Some, perhaps many, may have inhabited planets and space-faring civilizations. If one such civilization intercepts Voyager and can understand these recorded contents, here is our message. This is a small and present from a small distant world, a token of our sounds, our signs, our images, our music, our thoughts and our feelings. We are attempting to service our time, so we may live into yours. We hope someday having solved the problems we face, to join a community of galactic civilizations. This record represents our hope and our determination and our goodwill in a vast and awesome universe. End quote. The struggles of humanity may be the first and last form of things alien civilizations may hear from us. Because in 1 billion years from now, the information on these iconic golden records will become no longer accessible. The golden records on these Voyager crafts are we, humans, to any alien civilization. That is what exactly this audio tells to any galactic civilization. Hello from the children of planet Earth. And these records are the only thing that let aliens know that Earth even existed on which we humans live. Hello from the children of planet Earth. Hello from the children of planet Earth.